friends, a user had a question how to take a 3D design and turn it into a silhouette. I've got a strategy, so let's get cracking. So real quick, 3D file, silhouette. Let me show you how I did it. So step one was to get the file. This was shared by the user. I did have to sign in with Google. As you can see, it's listed as free. Once I had signed in, I was able to download it. Now I can view it in my library. There are two files. I want the small one. Even though it is small at 27 meg, I do know this will not work with Tinkercad. So we're going to start with how we fix it. The file we downloaded was a zip. I unzipped it. Let's go down and find Tasso Small. And in that folder, you'll note that there is a large file, 36 meg, and a small file. This is the base. This is the horse. That is too large to bring into Tinkercad. You'll get an error. Let me show you how I fix it. The tool that saves the day is called Mesh Mixer. If you do a search, you can download it. It is from Autodesk, but it is no longer supported. I recommend you grab it because it is absolutely awesome. We're going to start by clicking import. We want the larger file. That is the horse. When you bring it in, it will do what's called generating a mesh. And there is the awesome project. Very, very detailed. And we're going to have to fix that so we can bring it into Tinkercad. Step one is control A, which is select all. That gives us our edit menu. And we want to reduce this project. It does take a moment for the menu to pop up. Notice it is computing all the triangles. It looks like there were more than 700,000 of them. Tinkercad can only handle about 300,000. We are going to type 92% and press enter. So it's going to try and keep that shape, but it's going to reduce 92% of the triangles. Let's see how close it can get. Once it finally finishes, if you pop an error, you may have to do it once or twice. We can hit view and we're going to hit wireframe so we can see the triangles. So before there were so many detailed points that we could not even see them. They were that close together. It amazes me how much detail we still have. I'm going to change it to 95%. Let's let it do the math one more time. I'm going to work with that and tell it accept. And then we're going to do one more modification. Under edit, we are also going to remesh. Notice that smoothed it out. And I'm going to change that density to negative 50 and press enter. Notice now they are spaced much more. And this makes our horse and rider much more simplistic. Although you can tell it is still a 3D object. At this point, I'm going to hit accept. I think this will be enough to get it into Tinkercad. And we're going to simply hit file. And we're going to hit export. I'm going to name this one horse test 3. And then I'm choosing the STL binary format. And finally, click save. Now we can close Mesh Mixer. I will save this doc. Of course, I already did it earlier. This time I'm going to put a two after it. It's just in my downloads folder and saved. And now we're back in Tinkercad where we can create a brand new 3D design. I'm going to start by naming it. This is going to be called Horse. And then we can go over here and choose Import to get the project. Here is Horse Test 3. Now it'll be small enough to come in. Notice there is no error. I am going to make it smaller. I'm going to choose 80 millimeters for the link. Everything else scales accordingly, and bingo, we can wait for it to import. And there is our awesome 3D horse. Now, if you've got artifacts, you can simply cut them off with different parts. This does not have any artifacts, so let me show you the steps. We're going to bring out a whole cube. We're going to stretch it all the way past, and we're going to stretch it all the way above. We're going to take a second one by doing Control-D. We're going to move it right beside it, but we're going to leave a one millimeter gap. Now we can select that and do control G to group. This is our silhouette maker. And now let me show you why we need to do that. So if we look at the horse and rider, if we split them right down the middle, you've got a decent silhouette, but you lose the legs because they're spread out. So we're just going to do this three times so that we get the middle and both sets of legs. Control D, shift nudge to move that. 
Control D, Shift Nudge to move this. And now I can take the hole and do Control D, Shift Nudge to move it over, and Control D, and it moves close to the right spot. We're going to turn on what's called flat view, and we're going to look at it from the back. We're going to grab this one, do L for a line. I'm going to tilt it. Notice you can also just tilt it this way so we can easily pick the center and do Control-G. Notice it does take a minute because this is sort of complex, but right there is the one silhouette minus the legs. Now I'm going to go back to my back view and let's get the right leg. Notice I'm just moving this over till it's going to cut both of those out. You can fine tune it by changing your nudge. Find the exact spot you want. When you're happy, select those two and do Control-G to group. While that's grouping, I'm going to move over here and I'm going to do shift nudge because I've got that smaller nudge now. So I've got that leg selected as well. Friends, select control G and group. I'm going to quickly switch back to perspective view. Let's grab our three parts, do L for a line and put them in the middle. You have all of a sudden got the silhouette of your rider. Now you could go crazy and adjust these separate to make it look different. I'm going to just do control Z though, select them all and do control G to group. After a moment, you have got a sweet little silhouette that you can use for any other projects you want. If you look in close, you'll notice that it does have some interesting edges. I think that'll work absolutely fine. If there was a part that you wanted gone, I will show you this real quickly. If you cruise a hole out onto your shape, I'm going to do shift shrink to make it small. I'm going to push it through that part of the project and quickly use those little black handles to get this exactly where I want so we can erase that small part. I do want to mention that the more groups you have, the longer it takes. So if you're going to cut off several pieces, I recommend you get them all placed and then finally do the group to cut all the little parts off. So there you have it, friends. Relatively easy steps to take a 3D model and turn it into a silhouette. Of course, have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad. Below that, you'll find tons of amazing categories. Also, the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down a little bit further, you will find my course, Tinkercad in 20 Days, which is hosted on cadclass.org. This video will teach you all about it. And, of course, there's a sweet coupon code that'll get you 25% off any of the amazing courses on the site. Of course, you can use this link right there to visit in minutes. Finally, friends, don't forget the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Lastly, friends, I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.